Hi, I am Dr. Naveen Tahsilda. I am spine surgeon working at Narayana Orthopedic Spine and Trauma Care Center. We're going to talk about an important topic, which is spinal deformity, which can be scoliosis or kyphosis or any deformity in the back or the neck. So whenever we as spine surgeons look at the deformities in the spine, we actually look at them as different entities. It can be congenital, which is a deformity which is present by birth. And then there can be neuromuscular deformities or neuromuscular scoliosis, which usually come because of weakness that is there in the back. The muscles and the nerves are weak and that's why the deformity develops. And then there are deformities because of syndromes. There is a either a chromosomal anomaly, some genetic abnormality is there, which puts the spine at risk for a deformity. And then we have deformities which can come after an infection, which is post infectious deformities. They can come deformities after a surgery, which can be a post surgical uh, deformities. Today, I'm going to only focus on pediatric deformities, which can be neuromuscular scoliosis or congenital uh, scoliosis. And then there is a third entity which is called as the idiopathic scoliosis, which does not have any reason. There is a lot of research going on, but this these idiopathic scoliosis usually develop after the age of 10 years. Uh, the way we look at these deformities is we see at what age is this deformity developing? How much of growth is actually left after the diagnosis? Let's say that we diagnose the uh, scoliosis at 10 years, which would mean that eight years of growth is left. And then we look at if there are any other weakness or any neurological problems that are there. So once we know the reason for scoliosis, we can manage them depending on the severity of the scoliosis. If the scoliosis is measuring the Cobb angle that we measure for the deformity, if it is measuring anywhere below 45, these ch uh, children can be observed. We can give them a brace um, depending on where the deformity is there. And we can keep observing them every six months to one year through their growth period, which I told you ends at the age of 18 years. If the deformity is more than 45 degrees is when we start thinking about how much growth is left. If the growth left is significant, like let's say uh, we are seeing a 12 year old with six years of uh, growth left with a 45 degree of uh, deformity. These are the patients who would require a surgery. Uh, now, uh, the common you know, question that comes up is why do you actually need to uh, do a surgery? The surgery is basically indicated to prevent progression of the deformity. We want to prevent the progression. We don't want this deformity to increase. The surgery is indicated for cosmetic reasons that, you know, there is a shoulder elevation which has to be corrected which, and there is a rib hump which looks bad. These cosmetic factors are to be addressed and that becomes another indication. And in some deformities which are more than uh, 80 degrees, um, those can cause lung issues. That is, there can be breathing uh, problems. They can have difficulty in breathing uh, and they have a very limited work and playing capacity. And as these children grow and when they reach the age of 30 years, they have significant disability because their pulmonary resolve, their breathing capacity keeps going down. And to prevent these problems, we need to do a surgery which is called a scoliosis corrective and fusion surgery. I have shown a few examples here. One of them is an idiopathic scoliosis where we had to go from um, uh, uh, top to down to correct the deformity. And as you can see, there is a very good cosmetic result. And also these, uh, these children given an advantage that their breathing issues can be addressed even if they are going to come at a, at a later date. And there's one more thing that I would like to stress. Sometimes deformities in the spine are underplayed saying that, you know, it's, it's just for a cosmetic reason that we're doing. but. Uh, one of the pictures that I have shown here shows a girl who had come with a significant uh, deformity. She never used to make an eye contact when I saw her for the first time before the surgery. She had a very low morale. And now you can see that, you know, she, she has been sending uh, pictures of her at regular inter intervals to uh, us. And you can see the kind of happiness that these kids achieve, the high morale that these kids achieve. And uh, you know, they, they become more socially acceptable and their mindset itself changes a lot. And I would urge every child with a deformity, especially if it's a cosmetically deforming one, it has to be addressed. These surgeries can be done very safely. We have something called as neuromonitoring to take care of uh, every issue that comes. And the surgery for scoliosis is safe uh, uh, in the present day era and we can deliver some good results.